Hello everyone, happy World Book Day. Now, I'm gonna read the blurb of my favorite book growing up shortly. And if I'm honest, it's still my favorite book now. And it's all about going off into the countryside, into the wilderness, into nature, and just having a real massive adventure. And that's something I've always enjoyed growing up and I still enjoy now, so I've got a real connection with this book. So, Smaug certainly looked fast asleep when Bilbo peeped once more from the entrance. He was just about to step out onto the floor when he caught a sudden thin ray of red from under the drooping lid of Smaug's left eye. He was only pretending to sleep. He was watching the tunnel entrance. So, let's have a guess what book that is and who the bear is too. Hi everyone, happy World Book Day. I want to read you a passage from one of my favourite books. This is a thrilling story full of tension-filled prose told through the eyes of a strong female protagonist. It transports you to a dystopian world where you can't wait to turn the next page and find out what happens next. It's time for the drawing. Effie Trinket says as she always does, ladies first, and crosses to the glass ball with the girl's names. She reaches in, digs her hand deep into the ball and pulls out a slip of paper. The crowd draws in a collective breath and then you can hear a pin drop and I'm feeling nauseous and so desperately hoping that it's not me, that it's not me, that it's not me. Effie Trinket crosses back to the podium, smooths the slip of paper and reads out the name in a clear voice and it's not me. Hi there and happy World Book Day. I'll begin by giving you a clue. The author's first name of this novel rhymes with Park. Let's read the blurb now for more information. 15-year-old Christopher has a photographic memory. He understands maths, he understands science, but what he can't understand are other human beings. When he finds his neighbour's dog lying dead on the lawn, he decides to track down the killer and write a murder mystery about it. But what other mysteries will he end up uncovering? Now, I really enjoyed this murder mystery as it's from an unconventional perspective and he uses inspiration from his literary hero Sherlock Holmes to narrate his own remarkable story and it is a journey of his own personal discovery. What do you think? Have a go. Hi everyone, when I was asked to take part in the mass reader I was very excited. I've decided to choose my childhood favourite book. It's about a boy who lives with his grandma and she has the nastiest eating habits in the world. She's as frightening as a witch and as grumpy as a camel without a hump and he decides to cure her. So can you guess the name of the book and the author? My character today might tell you another book that my author wrote. And the boy in the book even threw a little sugar and spice into his plan. But who is the mass reader? Hi everyone, happy World Book Day. I'm going to read you the blurb from my all-time favourite book, which I love because I think the writer has got some fantastic use of descriptive language. Here's the blurb, see if you can guess what it is. Here is a small fact. You are going to die. 1939 Nazi Germany. The country is holding its breath. Death has never been busier. Lysel, a nine-year-old girl, is living with a foster family on Himmel Street. Her parents have been taken away to a concentration camp. Lysel steals books. This is her story and the story of the inhabitants of her street when the bombers began to fall. Some important information. This novel is narrated by Death. It's a small story about a girl, an accordionist, some fanatical Germans, a Jewish fist fighter and quite a lot of thievery. Another thing you should know, Death will visit the book thief three times.